Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I am doing my January favorites. And second, it is my one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. And I am super, super excited and thankful and grateful for all of your support and love that you've been putting on me. I've reached 250 subscribers, which is a huge deal for me. Thank you guys so much for believing in me and subscribing to my channel and just, you know, all the love and support that you give me all day, every day. So without any further further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. The first product that I've been loving, uh, I would say from mid-December to the whole January month, was the YSL Touche Clot Latin to Radiance Awakening Foundation. I've had this in the shade uh, B30, and then I went and exchanged this one to B20, and I feel like this is a better match for winter, but again, in summer, I would be B30. But again, I love this foundation. They changed the packaging uh, with like black writing. I did a whole review on this. If you guys are interested, I'll link it somewhere around here so you guys can go ahead and watch that. But it's just a beautiful um, full coverage foundation that would just make um, you know your skin glow within and it's very thin and the consistency is really nice it almost feels like you have powder on but it's not like heavy it's just a very thin foundation I love the finish I love the coverage and I just love everything about it the packaging is beautiful it smells really nice and I think I'll be using it more throughout the spring the next product has been my Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. This I bought about in the mid-January and I could not put it away ever since. This is the one that uh, I did a sort of a first impression on it and it just is a huge um, deal for me. It just makes my lashes so amazing. That's how the brush looks like. Um, it has a huge wand but um, you know, it just gives you humongous volume and lashes and, you know, it curls and just holds them up, you know, and it removes really easily. It has a very creamy, you know, consistency. It's not like super wet or waxy. So I really love that. It's kind of expensive, but to me, it's absolutely worth it. And I'm so happy that I've had and use it ever since from mid-January. The next product that I wanted to talk about is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Definer. Um, to me, this is not a brow definer. The other brow is that she has, that's a brow definer because it has, you know, a fine tip. So that's how it's defining. But this one, I think it's more of a... Um, brow sculptor so it has like a one side if you guys can see that it's almost like a slanted side I don't know if you guys can see that but it's not like um, it's kind of different uh, from any other you know brow uh, pencils that we've seen it's really nice packaging it I mean the pricing is really on point and right and then you get a really nice size spoolie especially for people who have larger eyebrows thicker eyebrows this is a really nice you know spoolie and the quality of this packaging is really on point for $23. I will do a battle of all of the slanted uh, eyebrow pencils because I feel like every brand has came with, you know, at least one. So keep an eye for that. But um, I mean, so far I've been loving it. The next product that I wanted to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD Press Powder. This one, I got it in the uh, smaller size because I didn't know how I was going to like it. I remember back in the day, I got a sample of this from Sephora in one of those 500 perks um, in a loose form and I don't like loose powders and from 2016 I decided to just you know not use any Laura Mercier loose powder whatsoever I love them but I still miss them but I just stopped using them because it was just so messy and I couldn't control how much powder I was getting on my brush so it was just too much of a hassle and uh, I don't know I was so over that this is how the powder looks like um, it is really nice in my opinion it's very creamy and when you touch it it's almost like nothing and it's like a transparent it's not translucent so this is kind of different but I've been loving it to set my under eye and pores because it just makes them disappear and it's surprisingly mattifying so I don't know how that works but I've been loving it and I would say um, the press form is really really easy just convenient in my opinion I've been just loving it and I couldn't you know keep my hands off of it the next product that I've been loving is the Edward Bess blush extraordinaire in the shade number two filled with desire Edward Bess in my opinion is one of those brands that is just I feel like it's just dedicated to red carpet you know makeup it's just not like you cannot experiment a lot with this colors because he only has like I would say 10 shades of lipsticks, two shades of blushes, bronzers, I think like three shades of eyeshadows. That's all about it. And I just love that about it because he has a limited amount of makeup, but they are the best quality, the best ranges, and just just 
amazing in general. I used to love and I still love his bronzer. Um, it's called um, Ultra Luminous Bronzer in the shade number one Daydream. And he has a new packaging for that. I used to have the like more of a round um, packaging, uh, but um, it's just a very smooth, creamy bronzer. Other than my Charlotte uh, Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow, I mean, these two are my, still my favorite, but I tried his blush recently from Neiman Marcus. You can get his uh, products from Neiman Marcus, QVC, and his website, I would say. It's a really beautiful blush. I have it on my cheeks right now, and by the way, I did a makeup tutorial on this for Valentine's Day, if you guys are interested. I will link it somewhere around here so you guys can go ahead and watch that. But um, I just love the, you know, the texture of this. It's very like, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very creamy. It's finely milled, very thin consistency. It's very buildable and he has, this is the lightest shade that he has and he has two more darker, you know, and the packaging is just to die for. A very slick, I mean, this is my type of packaging. Uh, Edward Best, Bobbi Brown, NARS, like I love those packaging for makeup. I don't like fancy packaging. Some new beauty random stuff are these brush guards. I believe I picked these up from Walmart about like two or three years ago and I I have never ever used them and um, recently I've been trying to use these smaller sizes for I want to say like eyeshadow brushes and you know blush brushes and I feel like uh, when they are dry um, they are in a better shape it feels like they're new brushes like for example this is a Sigma um, blending E25 and you can see how beautiful it just makes it like a new brush it is like um, you know tapered this side and it has that really nice shape and it feels really stiff uh, it feels like a new brush so I really really been liking these but I wanted to mention that these brush guards make your brushing time drying period a lot longer so keep that in mind if you are in a rush these are not for you and the last beauty product is something really random again this is the new dove dry spray for you know anti perspirant or something I got this uh, in a four pack from Costco it was on their website I didn't see it in store and I've been just loving this uh, it has changed my underarms a lot because I hate those sticky ones especially the ones that are very expensive like um, what is that called clear energy or something I don't know secret oh secret so I'm just away from those as much as I can but this one is very in my opinion hygienic it says that it stays on for 48 hours and it will last you for um, eight weeks and you have to shake the bottle well and it just makes you feel like so fresh I love it it's very dry and it doesn't have that white cast when you see you know when you are applying this to your armpits so I just love it so much and I feel like if you haven't tried this definitely go out and see how you like it so that's about it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye